The year was 1973 and the United States was in the heat of the Vietnam War. Winter was brewing and resident Greg Cook wanted to fulfill his dream of opening a restaurant. At the very beginning, it was just a real small space. I think 12 tables, maybe. A young entrepreneur, Greg used what he could to make his dream a reality. Well, he had only $5,000. With half sun, stained 2x4s, and star shapes with small lights stapled to the ends, which served as chandeliers. I paid $300 a month for it, just rented the space, so we had to redo it. So there was some wood and some brick, pink brick on this wall. And then so we put um, just knotty pine on the walls. He draped burlap on the ceilings. Um, it was lower then, too. Service was on torch burnt plywood tables and rolled out burlap served as a soft ceiling. So he draped burlap on there and then he built those little chandeliers out of two by fours with little lights on them. <laughs> so I didn't really have a lot of money and then made booths out of just plywood and burnt those. Dubbed the Burlap Days, Friar Tux was open for business with food, wine, and live music wine and the music and added um, the fondue, cheese fondue, just the cheese fondue and little um, little appetizer things. Being one of the first wine bars in Northern California, it didn't take long for the word to get out. Listen to music, have some snacks and a glass of wine. That was the idea. Business was booming and Greg knew he was onto something big. Um, I started in 77. I had a job as a waitress, so one of my jobs was to chop wood for the fireplace. We had a little wood fireplace in this corner over here. When he was a teenager, his family used to do cheese fondue at home. And so that's why he started, started with that because it went really well with wine. He had some bread and cheese and wine. It was a good combo. By the mid 1970s, bands from near and far were getting their chance to play at Friar Tuck's. It became an honor to bring your music to the hottest room in Nevada County. Um, that was just kind of evolved. We just started, we worked so well together and we just really enjoyed being around each other. And so we just started clicking and making up different plans and deciding the, the changes that we were going through. In the early 1980s, Friar Tux had built a name throughout Northern California. In 1982, Greg married his sweetheart, Rona, bringing new ideas and a new future to the establishment. We did two steaks and um, red snapper dish for, yeah, and, and then the cheese fondues, and then we started doing the hot oil fondues. The restaurant doubled in size with a full bar, steak, and seafood, and the legendary restaurant was born.